You're welcome to download a file and follow along with me. So I have two layers. One, of course, has the bee and another one has the flower. So the bee is on the top layer, the flower is on the bottom layer. And I want to add a motion guides to make this bee fly in a swirly path to land on the, on the flower. So the first thing I need to do is select the bee. It's just an image that I removed the background from, but I need to convert it to a graphic. So it has no idea how to do that. So I'm going to right click on this bee, convert to symbol, I'm going to tell it it's a graphic. I'll type in B. And then I want to have central registration. So out of these nine boxes, I want the central registration. That way I can pinpoint where to start and where to end the, the animation. So we're going to keep that as central. That's going to be important. And then hit OK. Now when I did that, there's this plus right here. There's that registration symbol. And that's going to become very handy in a moment here. So these next couple steps are very sensitive. So if you click on something else, it could cause your file to not work. So be careful what you're clicking on. But I'm interested in right clicking on the B and I want to add a classic, a classic motion guide. So I want to be, I want it to be able to follow a path that I create. And as soon as I select that, it adds this new guide layer and it's ready to go. Like if I, I need to start drawing the path that I want it to take. So I'm going to use my classic brush tool. I'm going to start on that registration. So I'm moving right to that plus where I said I need central registration when I made the image. So I'm going to start there. So this is the start of my lines. I'm going to click and drag the path that I want my bee to take and I want them to land on that flower. Now don't worry about this line. It's a thick black line. It doesn't really matter because you won't see this. It's just a guide for this bee to follow to get to the end. So that's not so important. Now the guide I'm going to take and the guide this path, this guide right here, doesn't move at all. So I'm just going to have that stay here. So on 50, I'm just going to insert a keyframe. And then it's the B though that needs to follow the path. So I need to do something with this B and it's a basic create classic tween. And I'm going to insert a keyframe on 50. And now I want to move this to the end of the line. And I want this, you can kind of feel it with your mouse as you're dragging or your track. I, it's kind of connecting to the line. And so it's that central registration that's connecting to the line. And when I let go, it's going to adjust a little bit. And hopefully now that B will follow that line and land on the flower. The problem is I still see the line and my flower disappears. So to get my flower back on the flower later, a layer, I'm just going to go ahead and insert a keyframe. So now my B lands on the flower. But to get rid of the path, it's not that I want to get rid of the path, but if you do a test movie or control enter to test your movie, the path doesn't show up. And that's why the color of the line doesn't matter. If yours isn't working for some reason, um, just go back, download the file again, and try it one more time. Chances are it will work. Just from experience, it just seems that the second time you try to do a motion guide, it works. Um, but that is um, how to make a, a motion guide in Adobe Animate.